Welcome back. Our next guest is an inspiration to us all. She takes on every obstacle with a massive smile and a truckload of determination. Yes, she was recently the focus of the documentary film No Limbs, No Limits, which was screened at the Jemison uh, Dublin Film Festival. And it's about to be released nationwide this coming Friday. I am, of course, talking about Joanne O'Reardon. Let's have a sneak peek. I had never seen somebody missing a hand, one hand or one leg. Not a mind missing all four limbs. The first thing that came into my head like was, what will you ever do? Joanne, oh. welcome to Teach You. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. Now, tell me, what's the reaction been like to the documentary so far? Yeah, it's been pretty good, like, in fairness. I mean, people are actually coming out to see it. Like, I mean, we sold out the Cork Opera House, mm -hmm. which is a thousand seater, and then we had over 600 people coming to the Dublin Film Festival. Like, there was a queue outside, so I kind of looked like Russell Crowe when he was going to go <laughs> or whatever. I was like, I feel good. Did you good. snap back at reporters? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> no, I'm uh, only seven people in the world have your condition, uh, Total Amelia. Have you, you've obviously, you've met uh, a few of them now at this stage. Has there been any other documentaries made about? No, so mm -hmm. basically, I remember one of the girls that I met, she was supposed to be on, you know, was it the Undateables, that mm -hmm. thing in America? Oh, yeah. But it was because, it was more like a slagging thing towards her. Mm -hmm. And she kind of realised that just before she went on, she kind of like pulled out straight away. But okay. uh, she's like super bubbly anyway, and I mean, she's actually going out with a really hot guy now, so I'm like, undateable? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> and they, they must be delighted to see it as well, to see the film and... Yeah, yeah, they're loving it. Like, I mean, we invited Tina, one of the girls that's in it, yep. over. Um, to actually come to the world premiere and she was like just in love with it but obviously she was cringing at herself you know yeah. but she thought it was like really funny and inspiring overall so yeah, yeah. and tell me is it a little bit nerve-wracking knowing like that, that it's gonna be released nationwide now are you kind of nervous just for everyone to see it yeah it's kind of petrifying because I mean I'm kind of banning myself from going to the cinema for when it's out because I hate watching myself or even looking at yeah. myself so to me no this is like completely Not only that, weird. There's the posters you know outside cinemas I, know, yeah, and all I that. even like took one on Twitter last night yeah. I was like oh gonna post a selfie now be in my poster I was like how <laughs> fade am I <laughs> you have to. Uh, are you grateful, I guess, that your parents did document those early years of your life on camera? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Like, I mean, we had one of those like small brick kind of camera thingies, you know, mm. obviously in the 90s, you know, the bricks. So, I mean, my <laughs> brother, like Stephen, you know, that directed it, he like was just obsessed with filming yeah. all the time. So, like, he just kind of documented every single moment that happened. Yeah. So, if anything ever did happen to me, which thank God nothing ever did, mm. uh, even though I've always fallen to trees and things, I'm not going <laughs> to lie, um, you know, that anything that did happen, they'd always have those like memories to look back over. Mm. Uh, and tell me, um, obviously your brother, you were saying he was directing it. Was there any moment where you're like, here, don't put that in, please don't put that in? Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of moments. It was usually at around seven o'clock in the morning when he walked into my room with the camera, and you'd kind of like have one eye open, you'd see the red light, and you'd be like, nah, he's he's joking. Yeah. And then all you just hear is a good morning, and it's like get out of my <laughs> get room. Out. Yeah. Tell me about the robot. So where's the robot at now? Yeah, so the robot is being developed by um, engineers in Trinity College in Dublin. Yeah. So. Um, Basically, it's at stage one now, and the president of Rwanda is after donating 50,000 euro wow. Yeah, wow. for it to get up and going. But I think in total, they're looking for about 500,000, because yeah. um, there's a robot made by Honda, and to rent him for 20 minutes, it costs 20,000. Wow. So, Amazing. you know. I'm, That's crazy. That yeah. is crazy. Of course, it's your 18th birthday coming up. Yep. So, are you doing anything mental? Yeah, I'm going visiting Michael D. Higgins. Just, yeah. you know, oh, just, just doing that. Just, just casually. Like, maybe we'll have chicken nuggets or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and chatting with us, Joanne. Guys, if you guys want to go see the film, it's out next Friday. No limbs, no limits. I've seen it. It's amazing.